So I'm going to select the sound and move it up above everything. So it's above the text, but above the actual quotation. And I'm going to press LL so I can see the waveform. And now you just want to make sure that the text will come on during the sound. So I'm going to select my text and I'm going to add a text animator. Now I can either add one just myself or I can use one of the presets. This is all doable. It's all available here. So, but the easiest way of course is to just do your own animator. Simple animator. I will use position and I will add to make it look really nice. I'm going to add a little blur and I'm going to add opacity. So this will bring it on nicely. It will make it real interesting. It will at the same time you'll have all kinds of options. And now I want to check in advanced and I want it to come on as words. So I'm going to say based on words and based on index. Okay, so I'm, it's counting the words. I'm going to keyframe the start. Just Well, first I should have it move off. So let's have the opacity go to zero. The blur, let's set the blur for something really big. So let's try uh, Let's say 75, that's that's pretty big, okay. And then the opacity, you got that. So position, we'll have it come on from the right. So I'm gonna move the position over so it's all the way over to the right. Okay, so this is a very simple move. We've got our first keyframe, so I'm going to select the layer to make sure it's selected, press U so it collapses everything so I can get more space to see. And now I'm going to come ahead and I'm going to hold command and pull the CTI so I can hear the sound. Okay, here's the first place I want something to land, right there. So I'm going to type 1. I'll go to the end here so let's see. Okay, well let's say we want it to be entirely done by then. So let's see, how many words do we have here? We had 19. So here we're going to say this is 19. Just for the sake of it. And now let's play it and see how it looks. Okay, so right there there's a nice sound. And I want that to be where fantasy lands. Okay. Okay, right there. Okay, I think that this one actually should have been the next word, world. Okay, here we want illusion to land. Illusion is obviously number 10, and so we'll just say this is 10. Okay, and then we want to go back to that one, and we want it to be number 6, miscounted. Okay, so let's see how that looks so far. Thank you. 
that to be number 15. That is good. Okay. Okay, and now we can make these even sharper by having them see ease out. That means that they'll be going faster as it progresses, which means it's it's just going to be. No, let's do ease in. Let's do ease in. No, let's do ease out. Do ease out. I think that'll work better. Okay, and then we can have Iris Murdoch come in about here, and then we'll do that with opacity and scale. And let's see, let's say start. We want this to be words index. So start and view Say opacity zero and scale two hundred and let's add a blur. Blur, whatever. Blur is always good. Let's have a blur of like twenty. And we'll say so start right here. Okay, so and that will be start film and then start two. Okay. Save that and play it.
so I can tighten that up. But it's a start. And then you would go ahead and decide, is this what I want to do with this? Is this how it's going to work? And you can have the text in your e-credits come in if you want to as well. Okay, so that is one way of doing it, and then you would go ahead and you would you would go ahead and uh, render your comp the normal way, composition, add to Adobe Media Encoder Cube.